In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the Linux Ubuntu operating system on VirtualBox version 7 in a few simple steps. So Linux Ubuntu is basically a fork or a derivative of the Linux Ubuntu operating system and it ships with the lighter XFCE desktop environment. It is a less resource intensive operating system that actually works on low end devices or hardware. So let's get started with the deployment process. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you how to download the Linux Ubuntu operating system from the official download page. So open up a new browser window and run a simple Google search for Linux Ubuntu. In the return results, click on the zubuntu.org link. And then that should then open up the zubuntu.org homepage. On the homepage, click on the download button and then that should then open up the downloads page. So there's a whole host of options that you can actually choose from. You can either choose to download as a torrent or to download from a mirror location. So I'm going to choose the United States mirror location and then here you can then click on the desktop amd64.iso file. So just click on that link and the download process should start instantly. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to show you how to create the actual virtual machine. So what you simply need to do is to first open up uh, VirtualBox and then click on machine and click on new. Give the virtual machine a name. In my case, I'm just going to set that to Linux Ubuntu VM. On the ISO image section, click on other and then browse to the uh, location on your computer of where your ISO image file is located and then click on next. So I'm going to set the username here to administrator as well as the password, but you can set whatever else you'd like. So I'm just going to type in a password here and then I'm going to repeat the same password in the repeat password field. And then I'm just going to set the host name here to uh, Zubuntu VM. And then in the domain, I'm just going to have that set to local. So click on the guest editions checkbox and then click on next. So base memory, I'm just going to set that to four gigs of memory. And then I'm going to increase the number of processors to two and click on next. I'm also going to configure a 50 gig virtual hard disk and then click on next. So click on finish and the virtual machine pr creation process is now complete. So I'm just going to switch off the, actually to power off the virtual machine now because there's some additional changes that we need to make. So right click on the VM and click on settings. Click on display and we're going to increase the video memory to 128 megabytes as well as the scale factor to 200%. I'm also then going to enable a second network adapter I'm just going to attach that to the host only network. So we've got two network adapters configured there. So the next thing that we're going to do is to start the virtual machine and install Zubuntu. So just right click on the VM and then click on start, normal start. This should then open up a new window, which is sort of like a virtual machine monitor that actually allows you to see what is going on with your virtual machine actually. So once the VM boot process is complete, you should then see a menu uh, which is actually showing you the installation progress. So basically VirtualBox simply asks you of the parameters to configure and it will actually then go through to then set that up for you within the uh, virtual machine. So you no longer have to go through the painstaking process of making these config changes from within the virtual machine installer. So virtual machine simply does that for you. So once the installation process is complete, the virtual machine should restart. And as you can see, I should now be able to log in using the administrator user account that I created or configured during the virtual machine creation process. Um, it also has the guest edition software. So as you can see, even if I resize the screen, it will automatically fill up the screen. So I'm then going to create a VirtualBox uh, shared folder, which will actually allow me to access the files on my host computer from within the virtual machine. So right click on the virtual machine and click on settings. Click on the shared folder uh, tab and then click on add. So I'm just going to choose a directory that I'd like to access. 
typically the downloads directory and click on open click on auto mount and click on make permanent and click on ok so if you return back to the virtual machine and open up the file explorer we should then see this uh, shared folder so you have successfully set up the Linux Ubuntu operating system on VirtualBox version 7 in a few simple steps. Please consider to like and subscribe to the channel and please also share this video with your peers, colleagues and friends. If you'd like to read the tutorial, please check the link in the video description. I hope this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.